Hey guys, it's Key and it's Key Life Trading. Thanks for tuning into another video. So today the consistency continue. Today is day, I think 13 of the small account challenge. And last week, the week was awesome. Now it look like this week is gonna also be awesome, but let me not jinx it. So today I'm green on one stock, I only traded one stock and the stock was ICEE. -E. I shorted it twice and I made profit. So today I made a gain of $34 before commission. After commission is probably $29 maybe. I don't know, but we're going to check out what the chart looked like. We're going to go to do the recap. And also guys, put in the comment section, let me know how you doing. Did you make any money today? You lose any money? You struggling? Are you banking? Just let me know. Talk to me. I do reply back to my comments. All right. So let's jump on the screen so the first trade i took was around the time of 9:37. so let's find 9:37. so around here so 9:37, and i jumped in with 200 shares at 17.95 so i got in down here so 17.95 i got a little bit early trying to see the breakdown right so as soon as i jumped in i think i jumped in on this candle right here this candle right here i jumped in price action then bounce and i was kind of like surprised because the reason why i was shorting is because one it started to show weakness we got a nice pull back down then we had the bounce up which i was looking for okay we made a a, a lower high and i was looking for the next move to come down so basically i got in a little bit too early and i jump in on this candle and I got in at 17.95. So like I said, when I got in, price action came back up, retest the, the EMA, and I was looking for it to just continue going down, but it didn't, but it consolidated for a little bit. And then finally I got the move that I was looking for and I took profit. I saw all my shares at 17.83. So around down here. So when I got down here, I just took majority of my, well, basically I sold all my profit because the way how price action was moving, uh, it was move, it wasn't moving strong in my direction. It looks like it went to short, but the way how price action w was going, I'm like, okay, this don't look like it's ready to make the move that I was anticipating. And this stock is, it moves very funny, you know? And the reason why it's so strong is because I'm guessing is the, the news that came out, I think on, I think the news came out on the 8th, if I'm, I'm not mistaken. But another reason why I shorted it too was because if you look at the daily chart, sorry. If you look at the daily chart on Friday, it went to a high of 20.99 and it retraced it basically the whole move. So I'm thinking, okay, today it's gonna more likely flush because of this big retracement back down from the high it made. And it did come down red but it didn't move how I expected it to move. I thought it was gonna be a big red day, but it's holding up pretty strong. And you know, tomorrow I don't know what's gonna do. I don't know if it's gonna continue the, on the down the downtrend or the down move, but it's holding up. But anyways, so yeah, I sold my whole position at um 1783, and then I got it from the computer. There wasn't too much that was looking good in my eyes, so I just got it from the computer ate some breakfast and I came back around 12:30 sorry my scanners keep making noise but I came back around 12:36 so I came back around 12:36 I took a break off the, the the computer and came back around here 12:36 around here I came back around here and I was looking for another short because if you can see we have a high here and we made a lower high right here. So I'm looking for it to continue to go down. And then finally, I took a trade at 1822. So what was this? It was around here. So I jump in right here, 1822. I'm thinking it's gonna finally break down again. And it went up, bounced off that 22, 22 area went up a little bit, made another lower high, and then it started to break down. So uh, I didn't go with a big position, so I wasn't, you know, worrying about the pullbacks, right? I went with only 200 shares, and I was looking for this to close or hold below VWAP. 
if it can hold below VWAP, this will show me a sign of weakness, right? So we came up and started to come back down. We retested that 1822 and we kept bouncing off VWAP. And I was very comfortable with the fact that it was bouncing off VWAP because like I said, if it was holding below VWAP, this is showing some weakness and some breakdown, right? So it came back down underneath this area. I didn't sell it at that moment. It started to consolidate around the 22, came back, retest VWAP, and then I sold all my position at 1817, so around 1817. And the reason why I sold that at 1817 is like, I was looking at the chart, and same thing, like I said, the price action was looking very shaky. shaky. I want to see big rips down. I don't want to see these little in small increments of movement. I want to see a big, like you see this candle? I need these candles. So I need to see these type of candles when I jump in on my trades, right? For me to feel even more comfortable. So the fact that um, the price action was moving shaky, I just took all my profit and just went about my business. And then that was basically it. So I made $32 on the day before commission, after commission, it should probably be probably $28 or $29. But green is green, and it is what it is. So, you know, this is a small account challenge, and I'm just trying to do base hit after base hit, right? And this is one of the ways we're going to be able to grow a small account. I can't always expect to get home runs, like, you know, home run, um, positions so i need to start getting in with like you know with the mentality of base hits only and when the market do presents home run potential then then i'll take the opportunity to go in a little bit more aggressive and to potentially make more money right so i'm pleased with the day i might not trade anymore probably come back um, around power hour and see if i see anything that's interesting but so far the market it's showing some stuff. It's not, it's kind of lukewarm, nothing hot this week started Monday. Well, what do you expect? It's Monday. We just came off of a weekend. So it's, the market is not fully hot as yet, but hopefully tomorrow we have a better opportunity and yeah, that's it guys. I want to shout out for the people that are, are subscribed to my channel. And if you, you're not subscribed to my channel, please do hit that subscribe button, like the video, put some comments under the comment section. I do respond. You know, so thank you for tuning in. It's Key Life Trading. Peace.